joining me today. Today's video is keeping with the spring theme and the technique is called a flower pop, I believe. Um, I watched a video um, by Lori Houston of Lori Houston's Art and it inspired me and so I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'll link her channel in the description box below. So anyway, I'm really glad you're here with me today and if you haven't already done so, I would love for you to become a subscriber and follow me on my art journey. And if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. Okay, I'll catch up with you later on in the video. So this base paint is made with Liquitex Titanium White Acrylic Paint, and it's mixed with just water. Um, it's approximately 35 to 40% water and about 60 to 65% paint. Um, I usually in my pores will use Floetrol, but in this one I did not want any cells to form, so I did not use any Floetrol. And so that's why I use just paint and water. So this paint is a medium um, gray by Arteza. It's a ready pour and it's I just poured it straight from the bottle. And I'm just spreading it across, creating the background. You know, I'm trying to create like a sky effect. So you'll see me tilting the canvas um, just to, I'm trying to create more of a horizontal um, lines with the paint, you know, to give the impression of like a, more of a horizon type and then horizontal cloud formations. I'm also trying to get some of the paint off. I want to get as much paint off as possible. Um, just so that it doesn't crack when it dries. So I'm trying to decide if I want to create an actual horizon line, but I decided I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I like the, um, just the look of the sky and clouds and, you know, not really any definite horizon line. So I'm adding a little more base paint at the bottom just to give a little more paint so that um, it will flow upwards um, easily when I um, flick the paint up. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. So I'm just layering down in little dots um, quinacridone magenta, metallic bronze, and medium violet, and sap green. And all of these are by Arteza, except the sap green is by Golden Fluid, is golden. So the sap green paint by Golden um, had a really in interesting um, reaction. It um, 
made, started making little fractals and it was like growing. It looked really, it looks really neat. It kind of like grew like moss or something. So I used a stir stick to flick the paint upwards and then I tilted the paint, painting downwards and allowed the paint to stretch down and it created more of a more organic natural look. So I'm creating the flower blossoms just by pouring a little bit of paint down, um, the quinacridone magenta. And then I'm just using a straw, a metal straw, to blow out the, um, the flower petals. Here you see me dipping the tip of a paintbrush into paint. Um, I'm just creating um, lavender blossoms and the color I'm using is deep violet. If you like this video, um, please remember to hit the like button. It really helps the growth of my channel. And if you um, would like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you follow me on my art journey. using a kebab skewer to um, paint the stems of the flowers and the base of the blossoms.
So here's a close-up of the dried result, and I'm really happy with it. I love the movement in it and the motion. It looks really organic and natural. Thanks for watching, and I hope to have you back again.